yeah, it's been a bit difficult, I guess, in Australia, or a bit different after doing well the last couple of years and the way the sport's changed. It's like, oh, it's kind of entertaining now to come here and maybe try something else. So that's a great point. Um, the fact that the fact that the next gen car is now independent rear diff, or in, in I mean independent rear suspension, the way this thing's built, much more similar to the supercar, but also more similar to anything out there in yeah. road course racing. Yeah, it's more relative, yeah. That's why we're seeing guys like you, Kobayashi, and other people more interested or eager to take opportunities and come run. Yeah, well, even seeing that truck yesterday and all the bits that are on it, how they make it turn and all the technology, like it's so far and it would be so difficult to come and just run those cars where right. you're right, like the new next gen thing, so it's more relative to the rest of the world and the independent rear end, like it feels like a normal race car when you're when you're driving around, so yeah. which I'm sure the truck's not going to feel normal. It's gonna, those things are gonna yeah. take a while to get used to. Yeah, it's kind of it. Mm. It'll have a lot of similarities because the tire, uh, you know, the tire will have a little taller sidewall. They'll that that sort of low air pressure wallowing around and all that thing, all that stuff's gonna be yeah. there as well. But um, I think it'll be somewhat similar. But uh, yeah, the truck, the truck's gonna be a little bit different. Yeah. Yeah, I had some good chats with Marcus about it, and he's in a similar position where he just won his two championships and then, you know, the sport was a bit different and he was looking for something else. And, yeah, he said he's, it's pretty similar, our stories. And, um, yeah, he just had to he'd come over here and he just loved it. And what was just, his advice? Just get over here as soon as you can. Go and give it a crack. you got plenty of years left. And yeah. just go and get amongst it, live, live over here and... Yeah, just embed yourself in the lifestyle. And, and yeah. that's your plan, right? I mean, I've seen that. I've read it recently. You you want to come over here and do this full time, right? Yeah. Coming here just opened my eyes. Like, yeah. Uh, I watched it, obviously, but never been to a race. And going to Nashville, it was like, it was a whole new world. I'm like, how long has this been going on? It was, <laughs> it, was, it was epic. And, like, my partner and I, we were just walking around the track. And we just went, walked up to the backstretch wall right on the track and just watching yeah. the cars go by. It was, it was epic. Like, yeah. You know, and seeing all the fans on the fence, like parked up in the motorhomes, right on the fence, like. And then track house wins. <laughs> yeah, like I obviously lived all the highs. You know, they won <laughs> yeah, that race, right. won Chicago. I haven't seen any lows yet, but yeah, <laughs> yeah I right. just, I just had an awesome time, and you know, it was. Um, all right, so what's your plan? We got to go would, ahead and roll yeah. out the plans. <laughs> Let me ask you this: what would what what would be the best scenario for you? Right. Uh, I don't think I could jump straight into the cup stuff. You need a lot of time to come here adjust to the lifestyle see how it all works you know i'm used to driving 12 to 18 weekends a year not 36 so mm -hmm. it'd be a big adjustment and then learning all the oval stuff how it all works and the routine so i need a lot of learning time and um yeah trying to work through it with justin that's who i'd love to be with like the track house team is is awesome i really enjoyed my time with them and you know way listening to how justin speaks and what his plans are it's, yes it's pretty motivating and something i want to be a part of so yeah, I think that is the perfect scenario and situation for all the yep. things that you're going to need to do and learn. Yep. I think that Justin's sort of vision and his ambition would really yep. match well with what needs to happen for you. And he's done it himself from circuit stuff. Great he point. went and did a bit of oval, so he knows what I'm going to go through. So he'll be very good for some advice as well, and he'll know that I need a bit of time and to be patient. So yeah. to have someone who's going to afford to give you that patience would be, would be awesome. Yeah. So your... You know, you have a whole career going on in Australia. How do you, yep. how do you, how do you make these decisions? When do you make these decisions? Yeah, I think I'm working with the team now because earlier in the year I signed a deal to to carry on for for one year at least, and then, yeah, I didn't ex obviously expect the NASCAR race to go so well, and it has been a bit of a struggle there with the way the series is at the moment. With it's not as enjoyable, so. And what's what, going on? Yeah, why? Oh, why I just that? just the new car and stuff, and there's so much background. What's different about the car? Uh, they changed it, a whole new chassis and concept, yep. and everyone's the same, same parts. It's very similar to here. Like yeah, yeah, it sounds like it sounds like Cup Series. <laughs> a year delayed, but um, yeah, when you read all the articles from last year about the drivers' problems and stuff, it's very similar, you know. So, yeah. but um, yeah, like the qualifying there is awesome, but the racing sucks. It's so boring. Like you're driving around at thirty percent, trying to keep the tires, and everyone's just following each other. And all the parts are the same, and the cars got a very narrow setup window. Everyone's running the same setup basically, and there's a minimum tire pressure rule, 17 pound. So everyone goes out on 17, they come on at the same time, drive around at the same pace, and yeah. the tire just explodes because it's running too high. 
they just follow each other around. It's mind numbing. So wow. Yeah. So I come here and like the race is just a hustle the whole time, You're just driving flat out, and that's what I love. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's interesting because you know, Paul Morris has been sort of. I guess critical is the is the right word. I mean, he was very vocal as he always is. Yeah. Especially after your win, he was vocal about some of the, we'll call them some of the imperfections of the supercar series. I mean, was he right? I, in some ways, like I think fundamentally, it's an awesome car. It's just it needs time and changes, and it'll come. But yeah, I, I don't know. It's like you've gone through such a high in your career, and now it's like I don't know. It's, yeah, if you're going to make cool. a change, these, these it's are probably now a good time. Yeah. yeah. And all right, so. Um, so you have to work you you have to figure out a way to work out from under the current contract yeah but my team is awesome they're, you know they're like I, they're, i've heard i've heard you know, quotes and so forth they're like hey you know, yep. if he wants to do it we're not gonna hold him back exactly and all, all the bosses you speak to like from the main one i got a text after the race he's like you got to get over there next year so, there you go. Oh, that's so they're nice. fully supportive which is awesome but i gotta get you know there's got to be another driver to fill the seat it's the best team in the in the pit lane so do you know who that is they just announced it didn't they uh i don't think that's official oh. that's just oh. gossip yeah <laughs> okay. what's the gossip uh they're saying will brown and i know is he's he good what, yeah he's very good yeah. he's second in championship okay so there's like three or four guys on the short list okay. and you know i know he's one of them but they don't have anyone official oh. yet that i know of so but yeah the articles yesterday i read them and do that, you get that to influence me, that decision no nah, no nah, not at all that gives me a bit of hope that there's someone good gonna be there and i feel better about about leaving yeah yeah that's important mm. i guess um yeah so do you um what all has to come with you if you're gonna you're gonna move over here <laughs> yeah. right yeah what are you what are you bringing uh just my partner jess and um our dog i guess that's about it yeah. <laughs> that's it a couple of suitcases we'll, yeah. be, we'll be away and you'll um buy a home i imagine uh, probably not to start no. with. I guess rent no. something or rent look something. around. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Dale's, Dale's got some rental properties. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, I do. Yeah. yeah. Half hey, the NASCAR Cup Series has lived with Dale's uh, in his rental houses yeah. at one point or another. <laughs> Ross oh, was yeah. a, Ross was a, perfect. Ross a rented Ross yeah. rented from us literally up until just a couple years ago. <laughs> Hell, he perfect. still might. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Ross was a Ross was in one of my rentals like about a mile from my house <laughs> forever. Oh, yeah. Long, yeah. yeah, it seems like probably the best way years. to do it. Figure out where you, where you yeah. want to be and he could tell what's you cool around here. We're, we're, yeah. we're good to rent from. Yeah. <laughs> right. He could let you know. He'll be your teammate. testimonial. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah. yeah. Well, and yeah, and and I guess Paul and Owen would tell you what it's like They've hanging, stayed hanging there. around us. Maybe you don't want to. <laughs> maybe you don't want to go. Yeah, I've, I've heard some stories. So. <laughs> we had a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, that that was um, those were some good times. They were good times. Um. So, is you know, I you know I, these questions are tough because I want to ask you whether you like you know you gonna think, you know you think truck racing, Xfinity racing. How do you get this oval experience right? Yeah, I don't fully know. You yet. don't know no, because no. you you know you're gonna go drive a truck in in IRP for the very first time. Yeah, I might hate it, but yeah, who knows? You yeah. might. I mean, I, you know, I think you would just. I don't want you to get out and go. Ah, right, you know that sucks. <laughs> <Yeah>. I, I, <laughs> Because I mean, the racing's—it's going to be frustrating, right? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's going to take a long it time. It is going to take a long time. And watching Nashville, you don't see the stuff that you see on TV. Like I was taking note of Daniel because he had to start in the back of a yep. backup, and just seeing those guys scrapping for everything for 85th, it looked like, yeah. and they're just dog fighting. The racing yeah. in the back half of the field is more intense. Yep. Yeah, it was crazy to watch. Yeah. And they were three wide, but you don't really see that. They're kind of all stuff. they're all taking advantage advantage yeah. of each other, putting yeah. each other in bad situations. But it looked awesome. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it looks I, great. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't like. I never wanted to, you know, come and race NASCAR, but doing that, like, I was itching to get out there. Yeah. It looked looked like fun. Man, it's fascinating because um, I think I myself, and I think a lot of people want to see this work, and a lot of people want to want to see, because man, Marcus was awesome. He was. Marcus was such a great guy. Yeah, he was so great to have around. Uh, our, you know, and he was successful. He was fast. Yeah, I don't think he ever won on the oval, but he got a lot Very closer close. and he got a lot more consistent. Yes, like, he was progressing every year. It was, yeah. it was cool to follow that. I yeah. wonder if Marcus has regrets. Maybe he's even expressed them to you. I wonder if he had something that he wished he'd have done a little differently. I don't know. Um, yeah. Did he say anything like that? Like, no, I, not regrets was, as such, but he said it was the best thing he ever did. Was is that come, right? Was coming here and. I'm glad Starting to hear that, actually, yeah. because he, he was a good one, man. Yeah. Super yeah. talented. Well, man, so um, I uh, 
I have a, I have I find it hard to believe that Indy's going to be your last race this year. Schedule yeah. wise, we'll see. Schedule yeah. wise, schedule wise, you have breaks, you have opportunities. Yep, for right? sure. It's hard, I guess, with the Cup Series stuff to come in, especially in the playoffs. Like they yeah. mean so much to everyone. You wouldn't want to come great, in and. That's a great point. Yeah, like I know this weekend it's the first playoff race for the trucks as well, and not that I expect to be up front mixing it with them, but you still got that in the back of your mind that it's someone's championship. You don't want to muck it up. So yeah. if I did Charlotte Roval, for example, like you wouldn't want to be mixing it with those guys and something go wrong and you wreck someone's year. I would, yeah. I would hate to do that. So That's we'll, absolutely we'll see. true.